automatic refuel operation. An A320 refueling operation. The fuel tanker stops within the safety area. Obey the fuel safety and firefighting procedures. The fuel tanker ground cable is connected to the aircraft. Here at the landing gear. Before starting the operation itself, the quality of the product may be verified. A sample of fuel is taken. At the end of a syringe, a yellow rubber indicator is fixed. The color of the rubber indicator does not change. It proves that the product is pure fuel. Remove the cap from the refuel-defuel coupling. It is retained by a cable. So the fuel hose can be pulled up to the wing at the refueling station. Note that the nominal refueling pressure is 50 pounds per square inch, i.e. 3.45 bars. Caution, only one refuel-defuel coupling should be used at a time. The refuel-defuel control panel 800VU is located in the right-hand fuselage fairing. As soon as the panel door is open, Power supply is on and all lights flash. Tests have to be performed. The test switch set to lights operates a filament test. All the lights on the panel come on and all the quantity indications show eights. When the test switch is set to high level the three high-level lights come on. The high-level sensors and their circuits are serviceable. Then make certain that the refuel valve selectors are in the normal and guarded position. For automatic refueling, set the required fuel quantity in kilograms kg, on the pre-selector by tripping the rocker switch to ink increase or deck decrease as needed. Now lift the guard from the mode selector and put the selector to the refuel position. The pump on the fuel tanker pump unit is started. Monitor the fuel quantity indication increasing. All tanks are fueled simultaneously. The actual indication increases together with the tank quantities. When a wing tank is full, the high-level light illuminates. The corresponding refuel valve is automatically closed. The center tank continues to fill. On the tanker, the quantity delivered is given in liters.
The fuel stops for approximately five seconds near the end of the refuel operation. This lets the computer calculate accurately where to put the last of the fuel. When refueling is completed, the computer illuminates the end light. The actual and pre-selected quantities agree within a hundred kilogram tolerance. Verify that the fuel is divided correctly between the tanks. The pump on the fuel tanker pump unit is stopped. Replace the mode selector to its guarded off position. The panel door is closed. The refuel-defuel coupling is disconnected. The hose back to its reel. and the ground cable is rewound. Automatic refuel operation is finished.